from USM and uh, today I'm going to show you how we can run uh, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy analysis for microbial cell. But before we start the experiment, let me just brief you a little bit about uh, the setup and also how we are going to run EIS correctly using microbial cell. So over here is actually uh, two electrodes uh, microbial fuel cell. So it is actually equipped with uh, graphite and you have your wastewater inside. And uh, the types of uh, potential scale that we are using over here is actually Gamry reference 600. And uh, since we have uh, two electrodes and two terminality, it means that our uh, clips need to be uh, connected correctly. So over here, one of the terminals is actually connected with uh, the working electrodes. So the working electrode is green, working sense in uh, blue color. So it will be short circuit together and it will be uh, clipped together in one of your uh, electrodes. And another, um, I think, setup will be the electrode is uh, clipped together with uh, your counter uh, electrodes, uh, counter uh, reference, and also reference. So all these are actually short circuit together and clip to your another uh, terminal electrodes. Right. So um, after that, probably we can uh, turn on the potential stack and just checking whether uh, the connection is okay, whether you encountered any overloading and whatsoever. So basically, um, to do uh, electrochemical impedance spectroscopy, we have to make sure that uh, the sample is actually uh, suitable for EIS in the sense that, uh, like in this case, the sample is actually a liquid sample. If, let's say that you are going to have a solid sample, then it means that you need a proper setup for that because maybe the solid sample is uh, kind of tricky, the, uh, the solid sample could be uh, non-conducting and whatsoever. Since this is in water, so definitely we think that uh, normally in water it will be conducting and um, it will be easier. So um, one of the reasons why people are interested to do EIS for microbial fuel cell is because to see um, the interface phenomenon that occurs between the electrodes. So you know that inside the microbial cell you have bacteria that produce biofilms and everything. So all these biofilms that produce on your electrodes actually resulting any resistance. Okay, so now, um, once we have connected the uh, microbial fuel cell to the potential stat, we are going to go to the uh, Gamry framework. So this is actually the uh, software used uh, for the analysis. So when we uh, click to the um, application, you will see on top uh, whether uh, the device is present or not. So we waited until it become green. So green means that uh, the connection between the potential stat and the system is okay. It's good to go. And uh, to do electrochemical impedance, it's very simple. So first you just go to experiment and then uh, you choose electrochemical impedance and you choose potential static EIS. So obviously over here there's a few parameters that you need to change. Um, well, over here we are going to change the name based on the types of sample that uh, you have. So I'm actually running uh, one of the PhD student sample. It is actually a sweet potato. Sweet potato waste sample. And then the uh, range of frequency is also important. Over here, we are doing it from uh, 10,000 Hertz to 0 0.1 hertz so this is actually a very good uh, range in order to run microwave fuel set you can actually go even higher um, 100,000 or even uh, 1 megahertz but uh, I guess most of the important thing is uh, when you actually run um, in a, a very huge frequency range uh, it is important to notice that uh, any changes or what so in this case we already optimized the range and uh, this is actually the range where we get uh, most of the ref, uh, I mean response and the area is also important uh, the area is actually um, uh, set based on the area of the electrodes that you have I think 
uh, in this case, the, the area that uh, Mustafa or my students is using is um, 40, 41. 41. Okay, all right. So the rest, you just set it uh, constant. I mean, like uh, AC voltage is 10, uh, DC voltage is 0, uh, point decades is 10, and we have an initial delay, of a circuit delay of uh, 100 seconds. So after everything is OK, we just click OK. And what you are going to observe over here now is 100 seconds of open circuit uh, potential delay. Um, over here, we can see that um, the potential is um, slightly consistent. It doesn't have any changes. OK, now so the measurement starts uh, right after the open circuit delay finish at 100 seconds. You will see that um, uh, the potential step start to give uh, some sort of like a data, and uh, from the response just now from the Lisa Zeus response between the current to potential, uh, there's nothing weird or nothing. Uh, I mean, uh, those dislocation in terms of uh, the data points. Uh, obviously, what you you will see blinking is. Uh, it has a Lisa Zeus response and at the same time you have a border response. So you have like a resistance, uh, sorry, the modulus frequency, uh, modulus impedance, modulus Z versus frequency, and the bottom one is actually the capacitance uh, response. Right, so uh, the experiment has been done, and you can see that over, over here it says that experiment done, press F to skip to continue. Uh, most important things that uh, before we uh, press uh, skip is that to observe the data whether it is uh, okay or not okay. So over here we can see that the data shows some trend. Uh, we can see there's some um, uh, resistance and also there's a capacitance that's forming from this um, uh, I mean microwave fuel cells. And then we just click uh, F2 skip. We can go to analyze the sample by uh, simply clicking to analysis and we just click on the top of the sample and it will actually link us to another uh, application which is uh, Gamry eCam Analyst and you can actually uh, view either in border plot or Nyquist plot. So this is actually the Nyquist plot. So you can see that uh, it is actually showing some curve over here. And right now we are going to fit the data with uh, equivalent circuit. So for uh, the fitting, for microwave fuel cell, we already have a very specific uh, type of uh, equivalent uh, circuit that we use for the fitting. So it's just simply clicking impedance and uh, we just click into uh, fit a model simplex method. And from there, we just uh, click to this uh, fuel cell model. So after that, uh, probably we just click uh, auto fit for uh, auto fitting, and it will actually uh, shows or open a new tab uh, showing all these values. And if you can see from here, uh, the fitting line is actually fitted uh, best with your experiment data. So it shows that uh, the fitting with this uh, circuit model is good, and in fact. For uh, Nikki's plot as well, it shows a very good uh, fitting with the experiment data. So later on, you can use um, all these values in order to uh, to find any any things that you want for uh, microview fuel cells or uh, any discussion can be made further from these um, parameters. So I guess that's it for today's um, lesson and. Uh, Please feel free to comment if you have anything uh, to ask and we are pleased uh, to answer any of your comments. So thank you very much and enjoy your experiment.